Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see use of query selector function in LWC. So basically, query selector is a function or method in JavaScript and it is used to select any component or it is used to select any element. So see, query selector method or function returns the first element that matches a CSS selector. So see, along with query selector, we are using CSS selector and by that whatever the first element is there that first element gets selected now see which CSS selector we can use so see we have this CSS selector so by tag by class name or by tag and class name both we can use so see suppose we want to use tag name so we can directly mention tag name we can pass that tag name to query selector function or suppose if we want to use CSS class name so that also we can use so before that we have to mention dot and we can also use tag and class name both so see tag name dot class name so see uh, this is helpful when when there are multiple tags with the same name so in that case what we can do if there are different classes so we can differentiate those two elements by tag name and class name like this suppose see we have class name 1 and we have class name 2 and both uh, class name 1 and class name 2 we are using for paragraph tag so p dot class name 1 and p dot class name 2 so by that we can differentiate between the elements right so in that case you can use both tag and class name so here in this video what we will do we will have an example for this by that we will try to know how to use query selector so see i have opened visual studio code now see we will create one component, LWC component, create lightning web component, we will give some name, wire example 12, something like this, we will select default directory, okay, so we have created our component, okay, now see, in HTML code, here we will add lightning card, like this, okay, now see, here we will add, hello, and what we will do in javascript file we will add one property suppose name and here we will add exclamation mark okay now see next what we will do we will take input from the user so see for that what we will do we will add lightning input so see for that purpose we will use lightning input tag like this right now see here we have to add parameters right so see suppose label we will add name right okay as something we will mention enter name we will mention some default value so something like this suppose i am entering my name parag okay now see we will add one button so see this is lightning input tag and we will add one button so see lightning dash button like this and here label will provide click here something like this and now see if someone click on this button so we will call one function like this so see that function name here we will mention so suppose we will give name handle click something like this okay for this we will add closing div tag and for this opening div tag Okay, so closing div tag is already there. What we are doing here? Here we are putting one message hello and property name. Here we are taking input from the user. Default value will be this parag. And then here we are adding one button. Label will be click here. And if someone click on this button, so handle click function will get called. Right? So see this name property we will define in JavaScript file. This handle click function we will define in JavaScript file right okay now see we will write code in javascript file so see here we will write code so what we have to do we have to define one property like this we will give some default value so for example i am giving my name only para like this now see we will define one function so handle click like this now see if someone click on the button so this function should get called right so see here we have to pass one parameter that is event now see if someone click on the button 
So to this name property, what we want to allocate, whatever the input that given by the user. So that input we will allocate to this name property. So see, we want to refer this name, right? So that's why this dot name, right? Now see, what we want, we want to refer this element, right? Input element, right? So see, how we can refer this input element? So for that purpose, we will use query selector method. So see, this dot template dot right query selector query selector method now see here we have to pass something here in bracket we have to pass css selector and then dot value right so see this dot template because we want to refer this template right in that we have to select some element right so query selector and there we will pass some CSS selector. So see, here we will pass. So our tag name is lightning input, right? So see, we will select lightning input. Okay. Now see, I will paste here. Okay. So I have saved this by control yes. Okay. Now see, in meta.xml file. So as usual, here we will make some changes. True. And targets we will add. Suppose lightning underscore underscore home page. Okay. So see all three files we have updated. Okay. Now see we will upload it. Deploy source to org. Okay. It is done. Here I have logged in in cell phone developer org. From the app launcher we will select some app. So see suppose I am selecting sales. Then we will click on gear icon, edit page. So see, our component name is wire example 12, right? So we will drag and drop like this. Okay. We will click on save, back button. Okay. So see, by default, we got hello Parag, right? Now see, here in input box, in text field, by default, we have given Parag. Right? Okay. Now see, suppose here I am making Parag Zambulkar. Right? Here I am adding Parag Zambulkar. Now see, when I click here, so see, here we got Hello Parag Zambulkar. Right? See, see. Suppose here I am mentioning Mayur. So see, click here, Hello Mayur. Right? So see, when we are adding some text in this text field and when we click on this button, so we are calling one function, handle click, and in that handle click function, we are using query selector method and by this we are allocating this value to this property right now see here we have used this tag right we have used tag as a css selector now see suppose if we want to use class name as a css selector so see one simple example we will take now see we will add css file to our component so see how to add see our component name is wire example 12 right so see right click on this new file now see here we have to add css file with the same name so see our component name is wire example 12 dot css right so see wire example 12 dot css so by this we can add css file same name we have to give okay now see in this css file we will write some code so see suppose i am creating one class input class something like this and some property I will add. So see color colon suppose I am adding blue something like this. I am saving it. Okay. Now see what we will do. We will use this class name. So see I am copying this and in HTML here for this lightning input tag here we will mention class is equal to here we will paste it. Right. Now see I have saved it. Now see in javascript file here we will mention our class name so see dot input class like this right we will save it so see for this component we are using this class input class right and this class name here we are mentioning right okay with dot operator right dot and class name we will save it now again we will deploy it okay it got deployed okay now see we will refresh it by control F5.
Okay. So see, it is showing in blue color, right? Because we have used class and in that class, we have mentioned color is equal to blue, right? Okay. Suppose here I am adding Yogesh. Now we will click on this click here button. So here it is showing hello Yogesh, right? Okay. Now see, suppose if we want to use tag and class name. So see, when we have to use it, suppose there are multiple tags with the same name. So in that case, we can differentiate between multiple tags by class name. So at that time, we can use tag name along with class name. So see, here what we will do in JavaScript file. So see, in HTML, tag name is lightning input, right? We will copy this and our class name is input class, right? So see, here we will mention like this, right? Tag name dot class name, right? We will save it and again, we will deploy it. Let us see. Okay, it got deployed. Okay. We will refresh it by control F5. Now see, suppose here I am adding Zambulkar. Okay. Now we will click on click here. So see, hello Zambulkar. So in this way, we can use multiple CSS selectors by tag, by class name, by tag and class name. And here we are using it along with query selector method or function. In next video, we will see how to use query selector all function. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.